Good greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Partition Free. See if we can make some money out of this venture. Alright, well, as long as he doesn't strike near me, doesn't look like it, just some regular ships around me. Alright, come on. Give me something good. Alright, well, I'll take the pig iron. And you can have some iron goods. Why is there not a captain here? I don't want to ch go outside into the North Sea. Pirates here, but that doesn't help me. Alright, but at least we're making money. That's good. The more wells to build. Let's get the well coverage up to maximum. And how's the housing situation? Yeah, you know what? I'll just build a merchant house. That won't hurt too badly. Let's just head over to Staten again. Trader. Well, that's not really what I need. This is really frustrating in ways that I can't imagine I can explain properly. I usually have no problem finding captains. I guess the bill being snapped up by rivals or something. Alright, well, meet some leather. Anything else we're short on in Lubeck? Not immediately. Alright, well, let's just head back. Just store the letter in the office at the moment. And part of the problem is that the consumption of goods is just not very high. So at the moment, I'm just not making. Uh, I can't quite get rid of the stuff in the city just yet. Let's see if Rostock still still doesn't want any iron goods. Ah, they're finally out. That's some nice cash. Why is there nothing here? I can't automate the routes. Please give me a captain. That is some really cheap pig iron. And that's all the cash. And that's not what I want to hear. <sighs> and 
All right, Alborg needs stuff. All right, so let's just get to Alborg quickly. and they're out of cloth, which is being made in Rostock, I think. No. Someone near here does it. The Turun? I know someone here does that. Ah, here. Visby. Alright, well, let's go set something up then. I mean, this problem may have been solved already. Yeah. Yeah, my only other wife is the trader O Magnus, who doesn't have any buildings yet. All right, well, at least the iron goods are nice and cheap. Alright, let's just go and look for stuff, because I need a captain. This will not work otherwise. determined to uh, elude me here, aren't they? Petition 3, the quest for a captain. Uh, what the actual hell? How is it so difficult to find someone so vital to this game? somewhere. There he is. Well, someone is. Captain Dietrich von Gotland offers his service to me. He demands 20 as a daily wage. I'll hire him. Cool. His main traits are combat, which is not necessarily useful to me, but at the very least, he's got what I need. So my prayers have been answered, let's pray some more. And my house will be finished in 12 days, so... Let's get the ship back. Alright. Iron goods are still cheap. So now I can set an auto trade route. I'll just create one manually. All right, so in Lubeck, we essentially. Um, well, for now, we'll just buy from the town. And we'll just buy. Oop, no, not leather. Iron goods. For a maximum price of 450 and let's put it to 50 in stock. Yeah, for now that'll do. And then you'll head over to Rostock, where you'll sell iron goods for a minimum price of 
350 for the maximum amount you can. And then you'll head over to Stettin. And you'll do the same thing. And you'll head over to... There is it. Malmo. And you'll do the same. And you'll purchase pig iron for a maximum of 10, I suppose. For a maximum price of 1050. We'll go to Oslo. You'll sell iron goods and you'll buy pig iron. 10 for the maximum of that price. You do the same in Alborg. Uh, whoops. It may not, he may not be able to do some of these things. Alright. And then you'll head back to Lubeck. Where you'll... You sell everything to town. And let's activate the route. Right, so now it's active. And now I just have to wait. And now the money making goes automatically. Which is certainly an improvement. Now, depending on the skills of the captain, this goes more or less, uh, more or good, better. Uh, for instance, if he's got more points in this skill, he gets better prizes. If he's got more points in navigation, I don't know what this skill is called, by the way. So, if he got skill in navigation, he'll he'll maneuver better, making travel time a slightly less, I believe, or he maneuvers better in combat. That's also something. And combat really speaks for itself. Now, hopefully we don't run into any combat, but it's possible. Alright, in the meantime, my house is almost done, so... Right. Our new merchant house is ready and done. Now, currently I can't do much. We currently have no one living here. And we have... Population has increased somewhat. All right, let's sell some beer to the town. They still don't need pig iron. They're being really well supplied. All right, well, in the meantime... Um... Right, he has made some profits. Yeah, lots of stuff, but again... Right, well, we're making money. I kind of want to build a warehouse, so let's do that. Now, this will allow me to store more goods uh, back in my office, because right now it's basically just sitting in my office, which is not where I want it to be, because my office is absolutely far too little space. Also, I kind of want to alter the trade route rather than um, the ship getting the um, 
lies directly from the town rather I use an uh, administrator at my office to buy it from the town at a price that is reasonable to me and he then picks up the goods at the town and sells it on. Alright, so what is my reputation? Increased, we need to have some more wealth. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna change that. In Lubeck, just dump the goods to the office. Alright, so we have foreseeable to rent in our houses, so someone is actually living there. We have to pay property tax. Now, you can make money on the houses, but you have to be very careful with that, because at the moment, they don't really earn much. Because basically, I have to pay 280 tax for this house alone. So if I don't get maximum occupation of this house, I'm going to lose money. Now, it's easy to not fully get this right, because, well, the game never really explains this, but essentially, for instance, half-timbered houses is where the poor people live. It's almost impossible to make money on half-timbered houses, but you do need them, because you need the poor population to be living somewhere in the city, because otherwise, who was going to work for you? So you really only should build half timbered houses if there's like 90% occupation overall in all dwellings in this town. Gabled houses and merchant houses you can be a little bit more lenient in that you have, you have to have above 75. At that point you have a reasonable chance of making some money eventually on your houses. But don't overbuild on that unless you're expecting a massive boom of population. And right now we have only a few beggars, so... i just make some more money, please. Now, my office is currently not cramped full. We do have some pig iron in stock. We'll just sell some of that. I need to wait until my uh, thing finishes here. Let's keep having baths. And praying. Right, my warehouse is now completed. Right, we had an offer of uh, hiding goods. This is essentially a shady deal. This is something you should probably never ever do if you don't intend to involve yourself with the evil criminal parts of this game. Now, I'll be honest, I have no real experience in playing with the criminal parts of this game because I've always gotten caught when I tried any of this. Now, uh, this offer has expired, otherwise I could accept the refuse, so it automatically refused. But in any case, uh, it's usually not a good idea to take this if you do not already have a uh, warehouse where you can store stuff. Or uh, you have the money to purchase some stuff to hide the goods. Because he'll give you some goods and then tell you what kind of goods it looks like. And if you've got like three times more goods than the goods he is offering you, then it's getting hidden and it will not be discovered. But if you do get discovered, you have to pay a fine, and you lose reputation, and it's just not fun. So I usually don't bother. Um, I mean, the easiest way to get into the uh, darkness is to hire pirates, but you need ships for that. Currently, I have no ships. I could get ships. Uh, let's see, if I wanted the crayer, I can't afford that, because that requires pitch, where I don't currently have... Hmm. 
All right, and that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.